Let's jump in. So Israel, God, uh, Netanyahu is, 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 a, is a, one of the shrewdest political animals I, I've, I've ever seen. Um, he, he has managed to stay in, stay in power. He lost power for a little bit, but came back. Uh, he, he managed to cobble together this crazy coalition. And he rarely makes political mistakes. He makes lots of other mistakes, but he rarely makes political mistakes. And, uh, you know, this morning he had to backtrack. This morning he had to, he had to admit that he had made a political mistake. I don't know that he actually admitted that, but uh, after hundreds of thousands of Israelis have been protesting for weeks now, uh, over the weekend, it accelerated in particular. Um, over the weekend, or, or late last week, uh, the defense minister, a member of uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's uh, Likud uh, political party, um, uh, so all of this is about the judicial reform. We've talked about this before. Uh, anyway, the defense minister said he he, uh, he he would support delaying the judicial reform and trying to come up with some kind of compromise, given how unpopular it was in the, uh, among Israelis, uh, given how controversial it was, and maybe they should put a pause on it and delay it. Netanyahu fired him for that. Uh, that stimulated even more protests in the street. It, it, these are not exactly necessarily people who support the defense minister, but the idea that Netanyahu would just bullheadedly go forward with this, even when there's opposition to it within his own political party, not to mention a majority, it seems like a majority of Israelis, um, uh, was, uh, you know, that was, that was hard, that was, people, People couldn't stomach it and, and basically went out to the streets. They're, they're still out in the, into the streets. Um, and putting pressure and, uh, and trying to come up with a compromise. And in this case, I'm on the side of, there's no question, I'm on the side um, of, uh, of compromise. There's, uh, the Netanyahu proposal is a terrible proposal. It is a, it, it, the, the judicial reform. Uh, is basically sponsored by crazy right-wing, uh, uh, semi-fascist political parties, who, who I think would like to use their ability to pass, uh, use their power to pass laws that clearly discriminate against Arabs and clearly violate the rights of Arabs. Uh, and in the past, the, the Supreme Court has overruled those kind of laws, and they would like to get rid of that veto power the Supreme Court has. Uh, while I think the current judiciary system in Israel is not a good one, um, it, 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 and it, and it um, uh, kind of reinforces or, or uh, sustains, uh, it gives too much power to the left in, in its, in its uh, current uh, structure. It needs to be performed. But the Netanyahu uh, proposal was a terrible proposal. It, it basically eliminated any sense of an independent judiciary and, more, and it eliminated, it completely politicized the judiciary. So it, it, it prevented the judiciary from being a check on the legislature and the executive, uh, which is the way it is in the United States and many other Western countries. Uh, Netanyahu knows this. He understands the constitutional nature of American political system. He is a smart guy. He knows that it was an awful proposal it's, it's a proposal that is there for power and power alone. And good for the Israeli people who, who, who rejected this and, and, and hopefully are going to force Netanyahu to, to some kind of negotiating table, to some kind of deal that, uh, that both reforms the existing system, which needs reform, but yet bases it on a better foundation of an independent judiciary that has some oversight over the legislature and um, and the um, and the executive, uh, the legislation has now been postponed. Netanyahu went on TV tonight and and postponed it uh, to the summer. Uh, that gives them plenty of time uh, to reconsider it, to think this through. In a compromise with his uh, fascist, you know, right wing coalition member, um, Netanyahu also announced that they or, or it's been announced. I don't think Netanyahu said this. It's been announced that the government will form a national guard. Israel doesn't have a national guard, doesn't need a national guard. But Israel will form a national guard, I guess, for internal security that will be now under the command, if you will, under the responsibility of the minister for internal security, who is 
kind of maybe the most fascist of all the members of the Israeli parliament. And he is now going to be responsible for a new national guard that is going to be formed. Nothing good is going to come out of this. Uh, nothing good is going to come out of this coalition. Uh, Netanyahu is compromised with the worst elements, with the worst elements um, uh, of the Israeli right. Um, and I don't think anything good can come of this government. Uh, you know, what, what Israel needs is, uh, is, is a, a secular center-right government. And such a secular center-right government can be formed. Uh, I'm not sure it can be formed with, Neten with uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, but if ben Neten when, ben when Netanyahu leaves the Likud, um, the, whatever remains of the Likud will be able to form, I think, a much stronger uh, and much more legitimate and much more respectable government than the government that Netanyahu has just formed, and a much more secular government while still maintaining a secular right position. So um, Netanyahu is a... He's just a horror, and he is a disaster for Israeli politics. And the only thing Netanyahu cares about is sustaining his own position of power. Um, this is not for the good of any anything or anybody that he functions other than his own self-preservation uh, as a politician, as a political power house, um, and and to avoid jail because he is he is under prosecution, um, justifiably or not. He is under prosecution. All right. So, yes, so the bill is off the table for now. There will be no vote this week. It's been delayed to the summer. That is a good thing. Uh, but, um, but Ben Gvir, who is this uh, fascist uh, minister who will now be controlling of a so-called National Guard, is a, a disgusting human being, a, 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 a horrible human being. And... Uh, you know, Itai here says it's going to be Ben Gvir's militia. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's going to be formed. I think this is just, again, this is kind of Israeli politics. Israeli politics has always been messy and ugly and horrible and disgusting and terrible. This last few weeks in this particular government takes it to a whole new level, really to a whole new level. And, and um, sad, sad to see. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.